Hey Aquarius, welcome to Tyrone Hill. Welcome to the place where we turn Hill away to self-love and unity consciousness. I hope all is well. Lisa here. Welcome to your reading for the month. And let's get started. I come to you, humble God, thanking you for your divine guidance, providing messages of divine light, divine love, in accordance with the divine will. What is it that the Aquarius Collective need to know for whenever they watch this? Thank you. All right, we're starting off with first breath, beginner's mind. Okay, that's like full energy there. Over, overflow, overwhelm, and plenty. Um, I feel like this is the energy of like having a new job and like trying to figure out all the things that you need to learn about this job, you know, in the first week, right? Um, it's like a new phase that someone's in and they're trying to figure out what this means. How does this look? What do I have to do here? Is this proper? Is this right? You know, someone's trying to learn the rules of engagement. That's what I'm feeling here. Stranger curiosity coming out. Yeah, see, someone's in a strange new world. Wow, I have the needle intentionality. I love that these two came out together. It's like something strange has come in to someone's life, okay? And it's like, it's like foreign. It feels alien, okay? Look at this card, right? It's very alien. Oh, jeez, can you see it? Anyway. It's very alien, but it's like, <laughs> and then with this energy here, it's like this creepy alien looking eye thing, just looking like, hey, did you get my gift? <laughs> and someone's trying to figure out like, what do I do with this? What the hell is this? Someone's trying to process something that's foreign to them, okay. Wow, okay. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the initiation of crossing. Once again, there's a lot of new beginner energy here. Someone's just trying to figure out what do I do in this new world, okay? Let's get into it. I'll be using the Naked Heart Tarot. We have the Hermit card coming out, Ten of Pentacles, Temperance, and Seven of Cups. It's a lot of cards. All right, so we're starting off with the Hermit. Let's see. Is that better? That is better. Okay. Starting off with the Hermit card. Why are these cards coming out so crazy? Um, I feel like someone's feeling like a little bit cautious. It's the cautiousness that you would feel if you met an alien. Or maybe be freaked out a little bit more than cautious. But let's say if you see a foreign animal or a bug that you haven't seen before, you're going to be cautious. Like, let me step a little closer if you want to observe it. And if you do want to explore it, you'll step a little closer and try to look and see what it is. Does it have a stinger? How many, you know, whatever. How many legs does it have? How many eyes? You know, you're really trying to scope it out. Someone doesn't want to get stung. So someone's like in cautious observing mode with the hermit card coming out. It's crossed by the seven of swords because someone doesn't want to get caught up. It's like, if I'm starting this new job, I don't want to be the fresh blood on a scene and somebody's trying to take advantage. I don't want that. So I'm going to just stay to myself. I'm going to peep the scene, see who's who, what's what, okay? See what the, the rules of engagement are before I take a step, before I make a move. Um, because it's definitely different territory. All right, cool. This could even be like getting to know someone for the first time, right? And everybody's on their P's and Q's on that first date. 
Like, all right, can I say this? Would this offend this person? Can they take it? Can they take this type of joke? Can they take the sense of humor? All right, do I need to move like this around them? Can I say these types of words around them? Um, yeah, rules of engagement. Okay. Really, y'all mad out? Okay. So, Five of Pentacles and the, okay, and the Knight of Wands. See, someone wants to come out. They want to come out. They want to hit the ground running. They do. But I feel like, because that's what they feel. They feel like doing it. You have the Knight of Wands with the Five of Pentacles in reverse. In reverse. Someone wants to run free. They want to go just hit the ground running, start these new projects. Um whatever if it's love then it's like i want to you know what i'm saying let's let's hit this let's hit the sack all right let's do this um but whatever somebody doesn't want to feel um if it's something about the feeling the loss too all right so it's like if you jump into a job and you don't know the rules of engagement you might offend someone by accident and boom there goes your job right you might you know say something to the wrong person you know so something like that someone doesn't want to feel they don't want to lose something because they don't know this energy at all they don't know this energy the world or whatever this could be a person but it's something they they're not familiar with they're not familiar with this thing at all it seems um so that's why they're moving cautious they don't want to slip up they also don't want to lose it All right. Two of Wands coming in reverse with the Ace of Cups. Okay, so now this is coming off as an energy of like someone sitting on their hands. And like because they're trying to play it safe, it's almost like now they're overcompensating with this cautiousness. And they're not, somebody's at this job, they're at this new job, and they don't want to offend anyone. They just want to, they just want to do their, do their work. They don't want to brush shoulders with anyone. Uh, so now it over, they overcompensate where, to the point where they're not contributing to their, the meetings, right? They're not showing up and showing who they are, you know, because they don't want to say the wrong thing or do the wrong thing. They're not taking any type of action or any type of risk at all. Okay. So it does have the energy of someone sitting on their hands. Um, now we do have this Ace of Cups coming out. This can be, it's an opportunity, but it's a strange one that came in, um, yeah, I just feel like it's like seeing a new animal that you've never seen before. Seeing a new um, a new bug you haven't seen before, whatever. Um, but yeah, it's something about that. So it's just like watching it, but not interacting with it. That's what it is. All right. All right now, cuz. All right. <clears throat> the Six of Wands coming out with the page of, um, with the Knight of Pentacles here. All right, so that's a very slow movement. Very slow movement, that's what they're bringing. Very slow action. It doesn't feel like that much confident action either because the Six of Wands in reverse, the Six of Wands upright is Victory, feeling confident, you know, it's not that. This almost feels like someone is, um, we have the naked heart coming out with the eight of wands. The naked heart is coming out in reverse with the eight of wands. It's, it's definitely, this is um, a very slow, <laughs> a very slow unveiling, a very slow undressing of someone's mask that's what it feels like someone doesn't want to show this naked heart they don't want to show this naked heart because they're scared of this the seven of swords energy um 
whether I show my naked heart and then you crush it, you steal my heart and run away, or I show my naked heart and you don't like the way it looks and then I lose this, right? It's a fear of that, like what happens if I show I show myself? What happens if I'm in this meeting and I give my ideas? What happens? Will I say something stupid? Will they think I'm dumb forever? You know, what happens if I, I don't know, whatever, whatever. Something about showing up, showing their personality, showing themselves in this new environment. But anyway, they're being led to. And I feel like they want to. They want to get involved like a kid in a playground. They're watching the other kids play in a sandbox. They're like, I want to play in a sandbox with them, but they're just sitting on the side and just watching because they don't want to go up and embarrass themselves. That's the feeling there. Um, but they're feeling they're feeling led to do it. And I feel like they are being, they're feeling pride to do it. So if it is not pride, like um, strength pride or whatever. I mean, like they're feeling like they're, it feels like an external force is, is prying them open to do it, okay? They're feeling invited, invited to show their naked heart. Someone is from the outside, they're getting invited to show this naked heart. Like, hey, <laughs> like, hey, here's my naked heart. Where's yours? What does your naked heart look like? <laughs> Or if they're at a party, they're all at a corporate party. It's like, look at me dancing all goofy. You can dance goofy too. <laughs> and they're like, no, I'm not. But in their mind, they really want to dance goofy with the rest of them, right? So can you imagine? So this person doesn't want to dance goofy with the person at this corporate party. So they're missing out on a chance to create um a vulnerable or intimate moment by having the by showing their naked heart by showing their heart by showing who they are so yeah okay that's why i feel like it's sitting on their hands because they want to act but they're just they don't know they don't know how the response is going to be because it's such a new environment six of pentacles coming out yeah, they don't want it to be reciprocal. They don't want. They don't want the person if they if they're on if they go out to the dance floor and they're like, oh, you got a goofy dance. Well, I got a goofy dance too, and they start doing another goofy dance, and then they're like, okay, that's a little bit too much. Maybe you should go back in the corner and sit down, right? They don't want to. They don't want to really show up, and then they get rejected. Okay, rejection. All right, cool. Rejection, embarrassment, these are the themes here. And it's stopping someone from showing up, um, being doing what they want to do. They they're 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 not showing who they actually are. Now with this, I wanna say I wanna say this. With the stranger card and the curiosity card, where are we at? 18, 13, okay. With this uh stranger and curiosity card, I feel like I, I want to say if this person goes out on a dance floor and does their own version of a goofy dance, they will be welcomed. That's what I feel. But it does feel like this, this person might not have experienced this welcoming energy. That's why this feels so strange. Okay? It feels like a different beast because what you're used to... Some Oh, I'm sorry, flowers. Some of you guys are used to watering down, okay? Some of you guys are used to watering down because, you know, if you showed all of you, it would have been too much or whatever the case is. Now you have this different animal coming through and, I, and it's beckoning you to show that side that you've been hiding with other people. And I feel like it'll be embraced. With this eye of intention, intentionality, the eye of the needle card. I don't know why I'm feeling like this is like luring you. It's luring this other side of you to come out. <laughs> it's just, oh, 
It's like someone in the corner like, Psst, come here. Come here. I know you want to show this side. You can show it to me. Right? That's what it's feeling like here. A beckoning of someone's other side. Okay. What's the, what's the overall outcome here? Wow, two of cups coming out. See, this is what's happening. All right. All right. Yeah, I don't feel like this person, if this person is afraid of, of looking stupid, they're not. This is, this is something. Okay. Two of cups coming out, right? This is, you know, soulmate energy, blah, blah, blah. Someone, it, I feel like someone, this person or whatever this energy is, that's beckoning this thing out of someone, beckoning authenticity out of someone. They're, they're this, they're similar. They're, they're like cut from the same cloth. This is why the stranger can come up and like pull it out of them because they see it. It's like, you're like, oh, I look strange. You don't see that you look strange too? I recognize this in you. Be that. It's like someone seeing someone very, see it, this eye keeps coming back. Someone seeing someone very clearly and they're like, just bust out of your shell. I see what's, I see past this whole facade. I see past the shell. I see past the ego that you're putting up. I see who you are. Show it. Show your naked heart. Hmm. Wow, this is nice. But there's a lot of resistance towards that, okay? Because someone is still like, someone's looking at this alien looking thing, this stranger who's telling them like, hey, you can, you look like this too. You don't even know. <laughs> but they, they don't know. They just see this stranger and they see this alien, this foreign animal. And they're cautious, not realizing that they're of the same kind. That's what it feels like. Two people or two energies cut from the same cloth. One doesn't realize it yet. The other one sees it in them. And they're trying to pull it out. Like, hey, you're this too. Okay. Well, that's pretty poetic. That's beautiful. That's gorgeous. I love it. <clears throat> but what comes out with a likely outcome is a two of cups in reverse. So someone's like kind of sitting on their hands when it comes to this alignment. Whether this is a connection, we do see I do see the ace of cups coming out with the two of cups. So some of you guys, this is a connection. This is a person that's trying to beckon someone into their their stranger energy. Okay, whatever their alien energy, whatever that is. Okay. Someone's feeling overwhelmed by that. So they're, they're taking their first steps into this new stranger energy and they're feeling a little bit overwhelmed. Um, whoever this is, if this is you, don't feel, oh, feel how you feel, all right? You feel overwhelmed, you feel overwhelmed. But find solace in the fact that this person, this energy is beckoning you for a reason, all right, this can even be um, an energy of you and your spirit guides, okay? And you can be like, okay, my spirit guides are talking to me. Um, there's a new one coming in. Or I mean, this could be the first one that you've experienced. And it might feel so foreign and alien to you. You might not realize like, oh, no, you no, I'm, I'm actually a, a past relative. Like, we're one and the same. And don't be scared. You're only scared because this is strange to talk to invisible people in your head and them give you intuition right intuitive guidance uh, right so something like that some of you guys it's about getting in touch with your intuitive guidance and get in touch with your guides here okay it's something about that is scary it's overwhelming um now when you step into that life of getting intuitive guidance and now you're walking around like you know walking around like that person is listening to these intuitive guidance this invisible force right someone might be afraid of how that looks in the world okay all right what's well, a blockage but it's something that's bringing major alignment all right hmm? did you see how that car flipped up once again the target the target 
the hermit as a blockage, okay? The blockage, the hermit, being in your, your cautious little shell and someone's trying to coax you out. <laughs> Oh, with the King of Cups, oh. Oh. <sighs> the King of Cups here. No, this is the Queen of Cups. This is the Queen of Cups, okay. Hold on, let me see something. <clears throat> Mmm. Mmm. Very interesting. Oh, okay. This is very interesting. So, whoever's getting coaxed out by it with another energy, whether this is a spirit guide that you're very much aligned with that's meant to help you, um, or this is actually a soul tie on this earth, whatever the case is, and they look like this to you. They feel so foreign to you. They feel like something you've never met before or anything you've ever experienced before. It's because of its foreign energy. That's what's giving it the, the scare, the fear effect, okay? Imagine running into this blue man in your everyday life and they're just chilling by the water. You're taking a hike and they're just like chilling by the fucking pond, just pondering life and enjoying enjoying themselves. You'd be freaked out like, yo, what? But this could be a God, right? It could be some, you know, very chill Queen of Cups. That's what I'm getting here with this Queen of Cups energy. This is like a very, whatever this energy is, is actually a very nurturing energy because someone isn't used to it. It feels foreign. It is scary. Someone is looking at it like it's devil energy, okay? Now, and it's because, let's say if someone isn't used to, what do we talk about this? We talked about this in the, was it the Mercury retrograde reading or the full moon? I don't know, but I do know I have to end this reading now. Okay, so if somebody isn't used to this type of Queen of Cups energy, it's going to feel foreign, it's going to feel scary, it's going to be like, oh, you're trying to, you're out to get me. That's what it feels like there, all right? What's overall advice? Eight of Swords, get out your own head, all right? Somebody's just... um because some it's just it's queen of cups energy and someone isn't used to queen of cups energy queen of cups is very nurturing is very loving energy they're not used to it so they feel like someone's they're like it's a trick or they're getting bamboozled all right all right well that's it let me know what you think feel free to like subscribe share comment add me on ig taryn hill if you want a personal reading check out the info box below if you want to be an angel donor check out the patreon link below thank you so much and until we meet again peace